and welcome back to F1 Manager uh, Williams' career with the original staff and half the William, half the original drivers. We have Albon. I'm also live streaming this at the same exact time. This is the practice of. I'm gonna try to get the practice and the qualifying in. Uh, at the Hungarian Hungarian Grand Prix. All right, let's let's go on. Let's head on out. Did you check? Copy, ready to check. That's green now. Green now. First lap always run pretty much a qualifying lap, of course, so. Welcome to the feed. I believe this is the first time I've ever live streamed and now that I actually have a microphone, I don't know how good audio is, it's probably, probably not very good. This is the practice, uh, practice session at the Hungarian Grand Prix. speed through there's no sense in taking your time with it my first lap I ran with them was uh, I ran a qualifying lap so that's why they're third and fourth we don't have very good low speed cornering so There. Back on the car. Seventy-four percent setup confidence. Could be a good enough setup, so. I hope the audio is good on the live stream. I really don't know. Both drivers are over 70% with the first run and first practice. All okay? Car feels okay. Excellent. And both are about the same.
damn it. Ah, uh, come on, it's got to be close, but I don't know if it's going to be close enough on the, the oversteer. Anyway, they got to give it a shot. Send them back out here and just as well as soon as they get the car set up, send them back out on their second run. Go ahead and send Jack on back out. I wanted to keep I wanted to keep the original drivers with the original staff, but Latifi is, is just a, such a horrible driver that it's impossible to keep him. No matter how good you make the car, he is just that shitty of a driver that it don't matter. It really does not matter how good you make the car with Latifi. We had a car that was... E easily better than both the Aston Martin cars. I mean, way better than their car. And he still could not keep up with Lance Stroll. I hope y'all can hear this on the live stream. I don't. I'm not sure how it's working right now. Second practice run's almost over with. Clap balance, back wind capacity. Not bad, not bad at all. And we'll go ahead and bring Jack back in. Find out what little bit he needs to make it 100%. And this two. One shot, white line, and 50 meter on entry. What's he need for 100%? All right, so the traction needs to be altered just a little bit. And hell, that could be enough right there, who knows. That literally could be enough. Alex is at 93%, so he's even closer to 100%. Go ahead and bring Alex back in also. Alex is the same way the anti-roll distribution is going to be moved back to 3.7. Three, Optimal straight cornering and braking stability with Alex. So, that should be pretty, that should be pretty close to a hundred percent setup confidence. The only thing that worries me is the oversteer may still be off, but it's gotta be it's gotta be close. I don't even know why I'm worried about it because Alex is not gonna be able to get out and even run make a run. 
He won't even get to run a half a lap before the checkered flag comes out to end the first practice session. Jack will be able to run a couple laps and let him push with everything he's got. Focus and push. Circuit flag is out. First practice session is over. And McClare and Verstappen are both taking penalties this race, so we could have good starting spots for Jack and Alex. I don't know. If, uh, I haven't watched every YouTube video on F1 Manager, but. If anybody's ever been curious of why the performance bonus does not end up at 15-15, it's not just the setup confidence or the track, learning the track. Um, th those two both can be at 100, but if your car parts knowledge is at 70, 80, whatever, it's not going to be perfect performance bonus that's the reason so anytime you upgrade the car the front wing rear wing any car part that is why the performance bonus does not get uh perfect 15 out of 15. just in case that the audio didn't get picked up for the car parts that anybody who plays this game needs to focus on. Front wing, rear wing, and underfloor. Those three car parts design the, design the hell out of them. If you design the front wing and underfloor, those two are the most important actually because it helps the front, the low, low, middle, and high speed corners. And the underfloor actually helps your top speed also so you kind of get helped out tremendously with the underfloor that's the most important car part to design upgrade the, uh, that part as much as you can it, it takes a while to upgrade it because it's the, the most important part of the car so it takes the longest to upgrade more days and everything but the front wing would be the next best car part to upgrade the rear wing, if you're lacking top speed or DRS speed, then the rear wing will be great. But, uh, I always design at least anywhere from 5 to 7 or 8 front wing, rear wing, and underfloors every season. As, that's how I get as many as I can. And that way... That helps us uh, be able to compete with uh, the top 10 a lot faster. We're just over halfway and we are on the verge of cracking into that top 10. We, we've had a couple of top 10 finishes, but at France, we were just outside the top 10. After how many laps? It goes 65 laps. Okay. And as usual, I always run a qualifying lap, the very first lap of any practice. It doesn't matter what it is. If I can get them both at 100% set up, I will. I will uh, simulate let the AI take over for the third practice session. Go ahead and get the second practice on and over with. Ready to check. I must send Alex out Ready first this check. time. That's green now. Green now. Because it takes him a little bit longer to do his practice run. 
As you can see, Jack's already got one of five. Oh shit, I forgot to send him. Damn it. I cannot believe I just did that shit. we had at Austria I think it was Austria yes I know it was Austria now we had a, had a front wing and underfloor upgrade but I only had enough money to manufacture two front wings and two underfloors so during the practice I used the previous front wing and underfloor and before qualifying, I forgot to put the new, the brand new front wing and underfloor on in Austria. Or I think we would have had a better finish in ninth place. And that was Jack's second, second race of the season. And he finished top nine. Alex would have finished top ten, but he he literally was taken out of the race by Guanyujo. I mean, just wiped the hell out. It Guanyujo hit him so hard it destroyed a gearbox. It destroyed the uh, it damaged severely the ERS. And yeah, Alex already had to take. When you have it, give me feedback on balance. That went down, so that ain't good. I'm gonna have to fix that. Alex has already had to take a brand new ERS and he's gonna take another take a penalty for a gearbox too, so watch out for white line and pit limiter. could try taking this back, taking the front wing angle down to 9.5 and the toe out down a tenth of a degree. Although I'm not sure about the cornering on that. That may be that's the thing, I don't know it, which way it should go. That's the, that's the frustrating part. Which way do you go with it? But we'll find out really quickly right here. And with it, I'm gonna send him on out. Get your run over with, buddy. Uh, okay. 96%. He's only 4% away. That feels pretty good. Copy. Are you serious?
Okay. That has to be damn near 100% for Alex. Alright, here we go. And Jack's about to go back out for his second round and second practice. And I'm going to let him be a little bit aggressive right on this round. Maximum wait until Jack goes by and send Alex out. I'll let Alex push a little bit on his too. Now it's just a sit back and wait. Waiting game. That's mainly what practice is. If you want to do it, you can. Let the AI do a lot of it, but you only get one shot. One chance to uh, work on the setup each, each practice. to get them both to have a, at least a, a couple of laps on soft tires. Back on the cop. And Zach's at 97%. So bring Zach going back in. I don't know if I got it or not. I don't Copy. think it is. Copy. I was trying to put him on some tires. Alright, so we're going to have 97%. Usually, with how, much, how many percentage points it is to 100, that's how many notches need to be moved. How I move the tire chamber one spot and the toe out two spots, that's three, that should put it right at 100. Crash. Holy hell. We're just watching the Red Bull. Did he crash into somebody? Nope, but he definitely hit the damn wall pretty hard. Wow. Hell with it. I'm going to send Alex on in to just change his tires. To hell with it. either. Damn it.
We're seeing Alex out now. Harvest. That way, both drivers will have at least one good qualifying run. Have Alex push wide open. I'll probably just let him run two laps. And Jack goes faster than everybody. Check the DRS. Okay. Welcome back to what is proving to be an exciting weekend of Formula One racing. With yeah. practice coming to a close today and qualifying set yeah, to follow. Yeah, yeah. Ahead of the race tomorrow, the teams will be putting their practice data to use and making sure that their drivers have the very best chance of setting a lap time that will edge out the competition in qualifying. Drivers may know a track inside and out, but unless they have the setup to complement their ability, their efforts may be for nothing. Here we go, folks. It's time to get started. And we could have rain here at the third practice. I don't know if it's going to be the third practice or it's going to be qualifying. It's 9.5, so leave it at 9.5. I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough or not, but there ain't much I can do with it. There's not much that I can do because I can't move much around because it changes everything. Change out Alex's gearbox for this other used one. As you can tell, he's got one left, and he's already used it once. This is what Yuki, uh, not Yuki, uh, Guan Yu Zhou calls. Thirty-one laps. Let's see if we can go twenty-two, twenty, yeah, twenty-two at least. Yes, I know I put 25, but I just, because I run the fuel wide open. Shit, I need to save it because I don't want to just stand 
game to crash and lose my progress. Hell no. I hate having to redo practice sessions over. Radio check. You hear me okay? Copy your radio check. And third, final practice is underway. Is it going to rain? Yes. It, well, hell, it says it's going to rain here just a little bit. Uh, definitely enough intermediates. Possibly enough for wet, full wets later on. If you've got any pace left, it would be good now. Yes. Second qualifying run. So it's raining just one And the rain has started. So there is no sense in even trying to run a second qualifying lap. Go ahead and bring both drivers on in. with this too because we are going to have rain, rain during the race so we don't want to use up all of our tires. Drivers are away again. Finish up this third practice session. There's a big crash. And we got a damn crash. Street. What the hell? Kobe, Kobe. Who crashed? We've had a crash. Let's Leclerc see what happened this time. Okay, here's the Ferrari. That's the same turn that Max did. Same thing happened. Yeah, oh, pretty much. There. Same exact thing happened to Leclerc that happened to Verstappen in the second practice session. Wow. Come on, boys. Hurry and finish up this this practice run so we can see whether how close we are to 100 percent or if you're at 100 percent already sounds like we've had a spin Car balance feedback when capacity. Ninety-five percent. He's been at ninety-seven percent. What the hell? Come on, man. So damn aggravating. So frustrating.
Seven percent. So now their driver is at a hundred percent. Yeah, still not a hundred percent. Like what the hell? Seven percent. Are you serious? I may say hell with it. Straights off balance. That's what I'm worried about. Anyway, it's worth a shot. Well, we, I thought the track was about to start drying up, but nope, it's back to. Two millimeters. Oh wow! Now it's going way up. We don't have the best best weather prediction, so 60 percent. So it could rain the whole whole third practice. It could rain the entire qualifying. Who knows? So far, everything's optimal, looking good. Maybe, maybe we can get lucky and it will only take these two sets of soft tires. And 
pretty sure Jack's setup is 100% perfect. Not bad. Oh, Alex just went a little bit faster than Jack. Wow. We've just had a car run wide. And can Alex run an even faster lap this time? When you have it, give me feedback on balance. And Jack is 100%. Alex is green, he's purple. And yellow. And he fails to go faster somehow. Come on, Alex, I need you to finish this practice round, man. Okay, that's end of session. Man, Alex just made it. Wow, he just made it. If he wouldn't, have, if he had not have completed that practice run, that final practice run on that, hell, just a few turns away from the, from crossing the finish line, his setup confidence would have been a question mark, and he would have had maybe five or six performance bonus. Luckily, he was able to finish the <laughs> finish that practice run out. Let's switch our engines out. Our ERS. And the gearbox. Okay, good enough. That, yeah. No, we. It makes no sense why we lost that fresh set of soft tires. It makes no sense. We never even used it. We should have an extra set of soft tires. That's bullshit. Make sure to save again because damn sure don't want to do that over with if it crashed. There we go with qualifying. Hopefully we can get Jack and Alex both Radio check. Radio check. in the top. I'd love to get both of them in the top 10. I'd be happy with both of them in the top 15 though. 
If one of them makes the top 10, I'll be happy. I'd be ecstatic if one of them makes the top 10. And both of them are faster than Yuki Sonora. and Alex out first this time. Zach coming in behind him. There we go. If it's starting to look like we are going to be easily clear to the second round of qualifying, I'm not going to run another lap. clear no well, we are definitely not easily clear quick we'll go ahead and send Jack out Alex right behind him and here comes everybody else now nobody's gonna be in our way Orlando was in the way shit Both guys made it to the second round of qualifying. Oh, hell yeah. Woof. Damn, that was close. Save one more time. Send them out on the, these tires first. Check. Hopefully they can run a good enough lap. Man, Perez is going to get in the damn one. He's son of a bitch. Jack out again real quick. Give him a little bit of time this time. And I'll see Alex. Maybe they're too close to each other. There are a couple of DRS songs, but it's not really that important. That may have helped.
man have help. I'm afraid if I send them now, by the time we come back around to the surface, I'm going to end up running right into everyone. I'm going to wait. I'm going to send them out very last. Tents behind. We ain't seen Jack. Now I've seen Alex. And nope. We close by 13, 14. But with the Eau Claire staff and penalties, we could end up 11th and 12th. That's not bad considering we are the worst at low speed cornering. Welcome to race day. And before we get down to it, last minute checks are being made. Qualifying went well for William, as attested by their strong position on the grid. Now it's all about finding that edge for the race itself. McLaren did a decent job during qualifying. This is a solid grid position and it certainly has the potential to lead to good race results. A sunny day here with only a few clouds in the sky. If things stay this way, the weather should impose any challenges to the teams. And we're just over 300 kilometers away from the conclusion of this Hungarian Grand Prix. And each and every one of them is sure to be thrilling. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We are actually, we start 11th and 12th, so hell yeah. And we really don't have any extra fuel to put in the car, so it kind of hurts us a little bit. Those Mercedes engines are pretty damn ass about fuel mileage. Figure out which set up I want. I think I'm going to go with. Because Jack, Jack does not have good tire wear. So I'm highly tempted to go with the two stuff for Jack. Yeah, because Jack's tire wear is not the greatest. And maybe, just maybe, he'll be able to make some passes. Uh -oh. 
Alex, Alex, I might let him do a one stop because he has great tire wear. He does great on the tires. Alex does great on the tire wear, so. strategy with Alex so and this is I'm a recording thank y'all for watching like subscribe pick the bell comment this is going to YouTube the recording for YouTube live stream I'm gonna have to mute for a little bit thank y'all thank you for staying with me for so long